How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm doing a little bit of work right now, the night before we actually get out there. Tomorrow I'm going to be fishing with See You Out There, Brad, and then possibly fishing trips. We're going to do another challenge, so I'm getting all my setups ready right now. The challenge is going to be the four setups that I'm taking. These right here, I'm strategically taking these two. Fishing Trips does use the ultralight power uh, stuff that I do. And uh, so Brad doesn't though. He doesn't use anything this light to my knowledge. So what we got right here is that Savage Gear. It's the Manic Shrimp. I think it's like two and a half inches. Yes, and three twenty-fifths of an ounce. So the little Manic Shrimp is this one right here. Tiny little fella. Hard to cast out there unless you know what you're doing. And then we have a flats bug right there, setup number two. The other two, I just tied on another shrimp lure. This one's like meant for jigging. And that is by Voodoo. So I've caught some of that, uh, some fish off of this fella right here already. And we're having this one ready right there. Um, so a little bit about the challenge that we're doing. Uh, the way it's gonna go, I'm gonna put a paddle tail on this one right here. The shimmer, no, let's do the skelly. No, uh, I'm just, okay, let's, let's do the shimmer swimmer. So the challenge is all my rods, all these setups are gonna have to start with the other anglers. It's gonna be in their kayaks. And um, in order to get my setup back, I'm gonna start with like their setups and they will start with mine. I don't know how, we'll, we'll have to iron it out when we get out there as far as who's gonna get what. Um, but I will start with their stuff and I can't get mine until I actually catch a fish with something that they use. So these are like confidence lures that I love using and in order for me to get one of mine, I have to catch something off of theirs. Then I can feel free to pull one of mine off of their kayaks. And the more fish you catch, the more setups you get to get back. You don't give their setup back until they catch a fish. So you could possibly end up, like if I don't catch anything with let's say one of Brad's setups or fishing trips, um, then I will never ever get one of my rods back from them until I actually do. But if they continuously catch because they're on a hot streak and they're pulling their setups back from me and I have nothing else to, to use, well then by default, I'm already out of the challenge. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. I've strategically got what I love using I know how to use all of these to my advantage. And uh, we got everything loaded up, ready to go for tomorrow. Um, all the batteries are charged up. I'm also gonna throw the second camera right there. Y'all seem to like it quite a bit. When me and Rennell did our challenge together, giving them the second camera. I may take Christian's camera, but I don't know how we're gonna mount it. We'll have to figure that one out. but. Um, I'll take the Hero 6 just in case uh, so that I can have footage on both of their kayaks as well. Should be a great time. We're going to get to sleep, get up in the morning, and then get out there. We are on the water, ladies and gentlemen. So the challenge between myself and Brad, see you out there, I told you all about him yesterday, and then we got Raynell over here from Fishing Trips. He's not playing in a challenge because he wants that W to hang on to for a little bit longer. <laughs> He's scared. He's scared. He knows this is the secret spot where we're gonna catch some bigs. If you look behind me, you'll notice 
These are not the MDLR rods that y'all are used to seeing. That's because they all belong to Brad. He brought three setups. I also brought three setups and Brad's got all three of mine. It's going to be kind of crazy. Brad's not used to five pound braid though. I'm not used to the reels being, the handle being on the wrong side either, Mark. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to have to hold it upside down and do it tourist style. So, you know, he's got kind of a, a handicap and Florida boys can't use bait casters. <laughs> don't roast me in the comments. That's what Brad said. Cannot. <laughs> so that's basically what's going to happen. Once he catches a fish, then I'm going to give him one or he's going to take one of his rods and if he can catch at least three fish before i can well then we're going to keep pulling back and forth until one of us can see so welcome back to the channel for those of you that are new from florida thank you so much for coming over tell brant i said thank you and uh, let's uh, enjoy what the texas gulf coast has for us today it doesn't feel as like wishy wise kind of yeah that's crazy if you buy one of them toys from like walmart then yeah you're yeah. going to feel that so we're gonna start bro um my suggestion would be to probably hit this bank line the grass line it does have a lot of oyster right next to it but you can get away with like casting to the bank and then reeling back in if you get snagged don't be afraid to take the kayak over into it even if you have to raise the trolling motor turn it off first then raise it up and then you can use the paddle to get your way over to shimmy your lure out if you lose a lure, I don't care. I got plenty more. Here we are. This is a this is this is a big one. This is a 3000 sustain Shimano sustain. Brad does not hold back on the funds when it comes to saltwater gear. If any of y'all know Shimano, you know these guys cost quite a bit. But look, he's got the handle on the wrong side. He told me mine was on the wrong side. I beg to differ. At least he uses a uh, a leader. And I don't think I'm gonna lose anything with this. This is a darn cable, man. A cable and a winch. So here we go. Get that out there. I can definitely feel the line coming off. I think he said he's got 10 or 20 pound braid, something like that, which is what I think you would use on a big setup like this but this is the first setup i'm choosing to use the paddle tail you cannot go wrong if you want to catch something fast may i suggest throwing a paddle tail y'all get to that grass line oh my gosh i'm not used to doing this with my right hand usually i'm, I'm doing this with my left hand i'm not liking the action uh, I think I'm reeling in. This reel is just bringing in a lot more line than what I am used to. So I got to go super slow, y'all, in order to get that action and keep that lure from spinning around. So we're going to make a quick swap. Come on, Mr. Bugs. Just do what you do best, and that is catch fish. Come on, baby. Go find us a fish. Bring us fame and fortune. Oh my gosh, these mosquitoes are atrocious. We were like blood banks this morning. Look at this right here on my glove. But the, the lack of hearing a, uh, a blow up just means that they're not aggressive. Oh my gosh, y'all, look at that. Thank goodness we didn't get hit. That's why we couldn't hook anything. Brad sabotaged me. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have a hook. We didn't we didn't account for something like that happening. We got to go back to this one right here. All right, we have to use this one. All right, here we are. Let's see if we can make it happen again. I was going to swap out lures anyways. Thank God I did because I wouldn't have seen that the bugs was missing his hook. It's probably whenever I got snagged in the oyster and I was like pulling really hard to try to free it, pop that hook off. Just hoping for that one magical bite, y'all. Got him. Oh my gosh. What did I do? I wrapped the rod around the line around the rod tip in the hook set. What is going on, please? Oh my gosh, because I can't reel on my left hand side. There it is, right there. Okay. 
Where are you, buddy? Are you still on? Yes, he's still on. There we go. Come on. Come on. Where are you? Get over here. <laughs> yeah, baby. Hey, bear. Mark just caught a fish on my rod. And it's a big flounder, too. This is not fair. I want my rod back. If he caught that on hooked up baits, I want a royalty check. Dang it. I got to give this rod up now. Oh, the buffoonery using a, a setup that you're not used to. Right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and go pull one of my rods back from Brad. So here we go. Keeper flounder on Brad's paddle tail. All right. Let, hey, settle down. And there we go, y'all. We get the photo really fast, and then we're going to put this guy right back inside that water. Right there. There's the proof. It's in the pudding. There we go. And off he goes. Cha-ching, baby! Be able... There's Brad. What rod do you want back, brother? Uh, I want the little... Uh, the bugs. <laughs> All right, guys, I gotta go take Marcus Rudd. Your handle may or may not be on the same side as it was when I started. I can't, I can't tell. <laughs> I just wrapped the line because when I set the hook, yeah. I started trying to reel, and then the rod was going back and forth, so I lassoed. <laughs> I was wondering what you were doing. I lassoed the rod tip, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope to hope the fish is still on. Let me play this good. thing. I'll come, I'll come right back around on site. Well guys, Mark caught the first fish. Mark's on the board. <laughs> I gotta give him the one of his that I like the most that I was gonna try to keep. But uh, I gotta oh, get, the, this the is fine. Casters. This is fine. The bait caster's got the- uh, Oh, the bait, I thought that was for holding the kayak in place. I thought I saw you jam that in the hole before. <laughs> All right guys, I gotta relinquish Woo! command. Come to Papa. Oh, this isn't fair. Brad's this over. Is... It's game over, y'all. <laughs> game... Well, guys, it's been a good episode. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Crap. All right, let's find another one we can throw. <laughs> we got to swap the handle back over, y'all. Brad, he uh, he disabled the handicap mode. Oh, oh no, that's oyster. Uh, did you just hang him with another one? That's oyster. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you leave me with that bait cast, I might as well go to the truck. <laughs> Bro, your bug's hook broke on me. Did it really? Yeah. I was I was trying to fish it out of the oyster and I snapped the hook. Really? Yeah. I think I've used that rule once. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's get this swapped over and we'll uh, hurry up and get back to the action as soon as we get this fella on the correct side. I want to talk to y'all about this challenge between Florida versus Texas. And uh, I just need my audience, you all watching right now, to start going over to Angler Up with Brant's channel. Man, y'all let him have it. Start heckling the dude. Also, Bama Beach Bum, do his channel as well. Cameraman Ron, Bearded Brad, Dude, y'all let them have it. Show them what Texas is all about. Tell them that we know how to fish because apparently the bigger channel dwarfs all the other channels. So, man, Brant sent so many people over to our channel and he's just, I mean, they're talking some mess. So, um, yeah, let's return the favor. Their channels are going to be linked in the video description below. So just make sure y'all go over there and let them know what we're about. Oh, yeah. There we are, y'all. That's a red. That's a red. <laughs> We're going to force Brad to use that bait caster. There it is. There it is. Get over here, Mr. Red. I am super happy to see you, baby. <laughs> Woo! We're going to go pull another, another setup from Brad's crate. We're going to go to his kayak, and we're going to take exactly what he has in his hands out of his hands and force him to use the bait caster this is going to be a very quick match oh mark just caught a nice red right behind me oh i can't throw a bait caster y'all 
Oh God, this is bad. Oh, for the worst one ever. All right, brother. All right, Mark. You have I'm, I'm gonna me double now. back. What? How does this thing work? Actually, I'm not gonna double back. I'm just gonna stay right behind you. All right, sounds good. Oh, there it is, y'all. <coughs> And we got a baby flounder. Cha-ching, cha-ching. All right, so that is it. That is the end of the challenge. Y'all, it took, what time is it? 8.23, an hour and 23 minutes to catch three fish off of three different setups. And that is it we are done so now what we're gonna do is just uh go heckle brad for a little bit and then we'll continue fishing but right there that is the champion the champion flounder right there y'all guys are you kidding me right now oh he's bragging back there guys an hour and a half he beat me three fish an hour and a half Took all my rods. Challenge is over. I'm out. And there goes Brad right over there. Oh, let's go. Let's go heckle this dude. You guys know we're preparing for a challenge. Going out to the east. We got to fish against Angler up with Brad, Bama Beach Bum. We got to fish against Cameraman Ron and Bearded Brad. And we're trying to get ready for anything they could throw at us. Yeah. Right after this, we're going to Chick Fil A, let's and we're gonna see. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope they don't throw this at us, guys. <laughs> Brand, Bama Beach Bum, you guys don't throw bait casters. You better start learning because I guarantee this is in there somewhere. This is impossible. <laughs> that is it, y'all. I'm going to I'm gonna retrieve my last rod. Much respect. Good, good, good game, brother. Let me come right around I'll to the other side. Get your winning rod. That's <laughs> the rods. All right, so to make things fair, the next challenge we do, we're going to do it on one of your boats. Deal. And it's going to be your challenge. I like it. There we go. So go ahead and reach back there, bro. You're going to want to swap out the bugs because I busted the hook on that. Uh, just I was swinging for the fences on Oyster, and it just wasn't a pretty sight. Well, guys, I got my rods back. But I ain't <laughs> to get them back. Mark, good challenge, brother. Yeah. Good job. I got beat fair and square. Now let's go lay the wood to some fish. All right, y'all. And that right there is fine, wholesome fun unadulterated even though we are adults we like to act like we ain't we're kids on the water and hopefully you all are the same i hope you enjoyed this one the fishing ain't over we're going to continue just having a great old time hopefully raynell will catch up to us and give us a couple of laughs but uh, let's check in on him